Chevrolet is right here on the San Diego Crew Classic grounds, and you can test drive a beautiful Chevrolet right here. Try out a 2013 Volt Cruze or Traverse to receive a $10 voucher good for San Diego Crew Classic concessions and even the beer garden. Chevrolet, test drive one today right here at the San Diego Crew Classic. How about a nice cold beer or some cocktails for you here at the San Diego Crew Classic? The Carl Strauss Beer Garden is standing by ready to serve you at this time. Event number 83, Women's Collegiate Second Varsity 8 Grand Final. Lane assignments, Lane 1, University of Virginia. Lane 2, University of California. Lane 3, University of Southern California. Lane 4, UCLA. Lane 5, University of Wisconsin. Lane 6, University of Washington. A little bit stronger crosswind University now as our starter University pulls the cruise. University of Southern California, UCLA. Crews are perfectly aligned. University of Wisconsin, <coughs> University of Washington. Attention, go! And the race is off. Control the band and as these women bring the crews, the shells from zero up to hull speed. Nice clean start across the field. Earlier race leader in lane three, USC. USC is followed by California in lane two, and then it's University of Virginia in that third spot. UCLA is right there as is Wisconsin and Washington. No more than two or three seats separate the first from the sixth place crew as we approach 250 meters, 250 meters gone. Still the Trojans in lane three, your race leader, followed by California in lane two. And then it's too close to call between UCLA and lane four and Virginia in lane one. Outside, Washington isn't going away. They're calling for a power 10 here. Once again, no separation from first to the sixth pace crew, no more than six seats advantage, but it's still USC your race leader. SC now with about a half a boat advantage over California, and then it's over in lane one, Virginia, followed by UCLA. Then it's Washington on the outside, and Wisconsin is in that sixth position. That's the call as we pass the 500 meter mark for event number 83. This is the Women's Collegiate Second Varsity Grand Final, and checking lane assignments quickly, University of Virginia is in lane number one, Cal is in lane two, USC, our current leader, is in lane three, University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA is in lane four. Wisconsin pulling out of lane five and Washington is out there in lane number six. With expert commentary on what's going on here, Mary Whipple, gold medalist for the Olympic racing and crew, and Charles Luckman, a longtime commentator here and a former roarer himself. Charles? Uh, what we're seeing here is pretty much 
what we expected to see based on the times out of the heats. Uh, the form crew out of the heats would be Cal with a 646, closely tracked by USC at 647 and the University of Virginia at 648. One would kind of expect to see those easing away from the other three crews in the race uh, as they get through the 1,000 meters, uh, with maybe the University of California, Los Angeles as the bridge between those three out the front and the University of Wisconsin and the University of Washington at the back. Uh, what we have here, these are second boats from their varsity programs, their second varsity boats, uh, but this is the grand final. Mary. And here we see the depth of the teams. To get an invite from the NCAA championships, you need a strong varsity, strong JV, and a strong women's varsity four. And so this is the depth. These women are pushing in and try to get their seats into the varsity boats, or they're trying to make their JV, second varsity, however you want to call it, as fast as possible for the coaches to say, hey, look at me, I'm a boat mover. We've got a lot of boat movers out there, and we are having them come through the second thousand. This is the third 500 of the race. And this is where they have to sit up tall, they have to keep breathing, and they have to just say, can I handle the fatigue better than the next lane above me? USC continues on the lead, but they cannot get Cal to go away. Uh, University of Virginia has fallen back just slightly, and uh, moving up UCLA. Then on the far outside, Washington has gotten past Wisconsin, but still not a lot of separation. However, USC and Cal are beginning to run away and hide on this one. Yes, we're seeing the separation that we kind of anticipated. Uh, lanes one, two, and three, Virginia, Cal, and USC uh, separating themselves slightly from the other three boats in the race. Uh, certainly, USC have been making the running in lane three, but uh, both UVA and Cal are now starting to make a push at them in the third 500. The third 500 is critical. 500 meters almost to go in this race as they approach the 1500 meter flag and it is USC continuing on the lead but uh, certainly Cal is not going away and uh, along the shoreline Virginia has begun to pick it up and uh, closing back into competition on the outside slight amount of open water back to UCLA Washington and Wisconsin. So as the crews are pressuring USC, are they going to be able to handle that? Stay internal, feel the pressure coming from Cal, but can that coxswain keep them focused and can they drive it home? USC on the lead, Cal in Virginia outside as uh, Washington begins to move up on UCLA, followed by uh, it's Washington, UCLA, and Wisconsin. Mary, how, you, how do you keep your crew focused at this point? point in the race. Oh, it's plan A all the way. I say, listen to me. This is how we're going to win it. We're going to sit up. We're going to believe in each other. And you're just going to go. USC on the lead. And they are now almost a stern to bow lead over Cal. And then coming strong is the University of Virginia. And all the way on the outside, sneaking into the picture, is Washington. UCLA beginning to move up. And Wisconsin is trailing. On the lead, USC, but Washington is on the move on the outside. What did they do, find an afterburner? USC, I don't think can be caught, but it looks like Washington may slide into the second. They haven't done it as yet. Cal is in second, Washington in third, Virginia in fourth, and UCLA is getting back into it with Wisconsin trailing. Back towards the finish line, it is USC, and then a battle on the outside between Washington and the cow on the inside, and then Virginia trying to get in there as well. The finish line apparent winner will be USC, and then it, it looks like Cal may have hung on with Washington not quite catching up, but boy, they put on a furious charge. Then Virginia, and then UCLA and Wisconsin. So the unofficial winner of this petite final is USC, and taking on our second, third, and fourth situation, Cal just holds off, oh my goodness sakes. You see, or uh, rather Washington on the outside or the closest in your view there, almost got there. They put on a furious charge, but they were unable to catch up with that cow boat. And then Virginia, UCLA, and Wisconsin. 
A so, sterling finish there, and uh, really a tremendous amount of charge by Washington. Mary, your comments on Washington? Well, you know, I am a former Husky, or I shouldn't say once a Husky, always a Husky, so I loved seeing those women get their acts together and sit up tall. You know Bob Ernst is looking at the game, the closers, see if they can uh, maybe pull some closers out of that JV8 and maybe put it into the varsity eight. You never know. But the Trojans, they just, they got into a really, really strong 34-35 rhythm, and they had just complete internal focus and belief in each other, and that was a beautiful, beautiful rhythm. So it was noticeable that in that race, the Huskies from the University of Washington had that sort of hard charge at the end that you talked about in the uh, Jessup Whittier Cup final. It's going to be an exciting Cal UW duel coming up in about two weeks. It's going to be at the Montlake Cut, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to get the bragging rights of that duel. Do you think there'll be crew changes in the offing based on the racing you've seen over those two races here today? Well, I know there's going to be a lot of hard workouts and a lot of determination, maybe a lot of blisters, and anything's going to happen. These women are competitors.